Never deviate. One misstep could result in the death of everyone you love. Not just any death, either, but death filled with excruciating pain. The worst death you could ever imagine. Death brought on because you deviated. Your day is always the same. You wake up at the same time and always turn your alarm off with just your index finger. The alarm can't beat more than four times. You take 15 steps to the bathroom, always leading with your right foot, never your left. Never any amount other than 15 steps. If you deviate, he knows. He always knows, because he's always watching, always making sure you're following that one rule, and always ready to act if you break it. Always ready to take away the ones you love in the most horrific ways. You make it to the bathroom. You turn the water on, turning it clockwise until the arrow points to the 8 o'clock position. The water is just warm enough to erase any goosebumps, but not very hot. On the really chilly days, you wish you could turn it up some more, but you can't. You can never deviate. He's watching. He will know, and they will die. The rest of your day continues to follow such a meticulous structure. Always the same, never deviating. At night, you brush your teeth, always starting with the same section. Always brushing in a clockwise direction, and always counting to 30. No more, no less. Then you work your way to the other sections, always clockwise, always 30 seconds. One day, your seventh step toward the bathroom feels off. You feel like you absolutely have to retake that step, but you know you can't because it's always 15 steps to the bathroom. If you retake that step, you'll be over your limit. He will know and he will act. You can't retake that step. It feels wrong, but you can't let it control you. You try not to panic. You can't let it linger for too long, or else the timing for the rest of your day will be off. You take the last eight steps and continue. It eats at you. All. Day. That step. What if he knows that it didn't feel right to you? What if he knows that you considered me taking it and risking it all? What if he did it on purpose? Can he control your feelings that way? Does he have the power to make you question yourself? What if it was a test? What if he wanted you to retake that step? What would happen because you didn't? You're still thinking about it while you get ready for bed that night. You're brushing your teeth when suddenly you panic. You feel the blood draining from your- You feel the blood draining from your face. Your heart skips a beat or two. The dread and the fear weighs down on you. You know it's over for them all. You got so caught up in thinking about that seventh step that you counted at 31.